My name is Ronald Ngoda. I'm 25 years old. I'm the founder of Printero Kenya. My name is Joanne Weri Momondia. I am 24 years old, digital marketer as well as a software developer at Printero. So tenants vacate automatically, your, your property is pushed to the marketplace so that people can see it from all over. We got the prototype that was already there and we're able to strengthen it up with different technologies that we have. And we are millennials on the move. I was born in, in Bihiga County, uh, that's back in 1997. I was raised there, I went to high school, uh, Chavakali High School. Uh, after high school, I, I joined a, a, a boot camp where I, I went to, to learn programming, software development. So I joined an institution called Immobilis, it's in Westlands, Nairobi. So I took a five months course to learn how to create softwares and innovate. In primary school, uh, I wasn't really into books. I was a curious uh, kid who wanted to know how things work. If I see uh, a mobile phone or I see uh, an electronic device, I really wanted to see how it works and uh, how it, 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 was, it was created. So I, I created the interest in computers uh, majorly. So back in class eight, I, I was so interested in computers. So I really wanted to know how do computers work, how does the internet work. So that made me become so interested in uh, uh, software development. Some of the problems I, I, I bumped into maybe as a kid, is when I'm supposed to be in school. You know, we, in primary, we used to go to school, and after lunch, we go back. But I, I, I used to, to, to avoid going back to school and go to play computer games. So you see, I would be asked where I was, and I was not in school, and my peers said I did not go to school. So you see, I, I, I was, you know, we brushed shoulders with my parents uh, for the same. I really didn't have a clear, a clear picture of, 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 of what I wanted to be because I was just living life. But then uh, when I joined high school and having uh, had the background of interest in, in, in computers and the internet, uh, I really became interested in uh, software um, development. That's why even in high school I took up uh, the computer subject from since Form 1 so that I could advance my knowledge and know how uh, they work. I was in the computer, uh, computer club uh, where we used to, to create projects and go and present them at uh, different capacities. The, the, the interest, I was in Form 4 uh, back in 2015. So uh, the guys from Immobilist Tech Academy came to our school to source for potential and able students who would love to, to learn software development. I found that as a perfect opportunity to, to, to grab and be able to, to advance my skills. So they gave us a scholarship uh, because we, we took a test and passed and we were given the scholarship after finishing high school will directly join the institution. So that's when in 2016, enrolled at Immobilis and took a five months course on software development and entrepreneurship. I have very supportive parents who supported me uh, on my journey and my dreams. So when they heard about this, they were excited about it and they facilitated my, my transition from back in Viga County to Nairobi, where I came and stayed and began learning. The experience was, was very nice because I, I came and met uh, students from different walks of, of life and from different parts of the, of the country. We interacted and shared ideas because we are like-minded people at the institution. Because when you learn, you are given projects to do and create challenges, you know, to, to create solutions. So that, that experience was really amazing and it shaped my, my career. When you finish the course at Immobilis, uh, at the end of it, you are supposed to do a project. So the project will, will now go to qualify you to graduate now at the institution. Back in the days, we, we usually had uh, USSD codes. You know, people had to dial, there are so many scattered USSD codes all over. So you, you have to know the code for SMS, the code for buying data. So I created an app where, where I, I compiled all those codes in a single interface that is nicely, nice and, and uh, easy to understand, where users can easily access those codes there and just press and to access different services from different uh, mobile providers. I was really excited to see that I could actually, you know, because when you go there, you are still blank, you don't know how softwares work. But at the end of it, when you are able to create a solid product that people can use out there, it's really uh, exciting and it really motivates you to do more and learn. Because in, 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 in software development, you really have to push yourself and learn and do research on your own most of the time. So most of the times you are in front of your computer trying to, to find solutions here and there. So it really motivated me and encouraged me I can achieve more greater things. After, after graduating from Immobilis, uh, I had to join campus. So I joined the uh, University of Eldoret. I was uh, called for 
education technology course. So I studied for two years. Then uh, midway of the course, then I realized that the course was really in line with, with my vision because it was mostly biased towards education. So and I was really into technology a lot. So I had to, 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 to drop out and focus on, on um, entrepreneurship and software development uh, where I, I began creating solutions for, for businesses out there. I began getting clients uh, for different solutions and I saw that it was a good opportunity. You know, I could make my own money, I couldn't ask parents for pocket money, for rent, you see, so it sustained me. So I, I, I decided to fully focus on that, become a techpreneur now. When I dropped out of University of Eldred, I had to enroll now into, uh, enroll to Mount Kenya University to do now uh, IT. So I did IT at Mount Kenya University and that's where I graduated uh, last year. Rentiro Kenya basically is a, is a, is a web uh, application that helps uh, landlords and uh, property managers to easily manage their rent collection and properties in a single place. It also helps tenants to easily pay rent at their convenience uh, from wherever they are. So at Rentiro we are a team of seven guys, uh, I being the founder and the, and the, and the lead, uh, the team. We have, uh, we have uh, Joan who is uh, the digital marketing strategist and uh, public relations. Uh, we have Vincent who is a lead software uh, developer. We have Nicholas uh, who, is, who is in charge of customer relations and we have Aaron who is uh, in charge of uh, our internal uh, business structures. So Rentiro uh, is an online software uh, th that was developed to, to help uh, landlords and property managers uh, easily manage their properties in a single uh, interface. You see, when you have a landlord or a property manager managing several properties, it becomes a bit hectic in the operations of managing the tenants' details, uh, invoicing, collecting payments, and reconciliations. So there's a bigger gap in, 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 in that. Uh, they have challenges reconciling payments made to banks, payments, or till numbers. But to Rent Hero, you can, they can easily collect payments online that are automatically reconciled. They can easily see who has paid uh, rent, who has not paid and they can easily see uh, the payments made to different channels that are linked on the platform, e.g. bank accounts, pay bill numbers or till numbers. Also, the tenants get uh, invoices uh, sent to them by SMS or email, so they can easily pay uh, at a click of a button. They just, they just click and they, they make a payment. They also get reminders, uh, prompt reminders of when to pay in case they have forgotten to pay. They can uh, easily get reminders so that they can, they can know when they are supposed to pay the, their invoices. I began back in, 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 uh, in campus uh, in 2019. So um, I and my friends, of course we, we were uh, tenants, then we saw a challenge where we, we were making payments and uh, the landlord did not have a proper way to track the payments. They kept coming back to us to ask if you have paid or not. Even if you pay, they don't offer receipts for, for, for those payments, so there's no tracking and knowing if, if you've paid or not. And then, like, if you pay deposit, you know, it becomes hard for, for them to refund you because they cannot track, or they take a long time to, to track the payments that you made. So then that idea for developing a system that can help them easily manage their properties and tenants so that they can easily have a visibility of all the transactions and details online. I love it when, when, we, when I have developed a product that is going to solve uh, people's problems out there in different sectors uh, of, of the economy. And, and the people can actually uh, adopt these solutions and they actually help them grow their businesses. So that really excites me to see my, my innovations are helping businesses out there. I've worked for several clients uh, across Kenya. So I, I, I've worked for clients uh, from uh, schools, school, in schools, school management systems. I've created uh, microfinancing applications where, where we have platforms that can enable microfinancing institutions to, to lend to a small business out there. So I've dealt with different technologies, including USSD, uh, web, app, web development, and mobile application development. So the remarkable client I worked with was Mobifin uh, back in 2020. So we created a, a system where it was, using, it was used to offer loans to uh, government uh, employees, teachers, and police service. So it, it, it will interact with, with external systems like payrolls for TSE to qualify the, 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 the teachers for, for loans on the platform and they could apply and get loans via M-Pesa. 
Today I'm about to one. So the, the dream of Print Hero is, is, is to see that we have a platform, a single platform where uh, landlords in, in, in Kenya can easily manage their properties and property managers also can easily manage their properties online, can have uh, organized records, can keep track of payments online. You see, because payments are the most important part of, of the rental business. So if you don't get them right, you, you'll find yourself making a lot of losses and uh, many other unexpected expenditures. But with Rent Hero, we want to provide a perfect solution that can help landlords out there easily uh, collect rent and have a track record of uh, their payments. Also, we want to, to, to financially uh, uh, empower landlords on our platform so that we are partnering, we will be partnering with other uh, micro, uh, financing uh, partners who can come on board to offer financial support to landlords using our platform against their rental income. So maybe they can be getting loans from, the, from, the, from, the, from our partners based on their record of uh, transactions on our system. We also want to provide a platform where we have a marketplace where uh, landlords and property managers can easily market their, their vacant houses automatically because on our system we have an integrated system. You have tenants, when tenants vacate, automatically, automatically your, your property is pushed to the marketplace so that people can see it from all over. So they can easily book from wherever they are and then you can onboard them on the platform easily without uh, a lot of hassle. So you can easily manage their details from the, from the system. Aspiring or, or upcoming innovators out there be, who believe in themselves and, and, and believe that they have the skills uh, to create solutions out there. I would really like to encourage you that just focus on what you love most. Uh, do not be discouraged because this journey is not uh, easy. You'll find so many challenges here and there and uh, you, may, you may be compelled to give up along the way, but you should not give up. Focus on your thing, believe in yourself, know that uh, you, you will make it and as long as you're providing solutions that people can use out there, uh, you will always sell. So at this, at this point, I would like to introduce Joanna on our team. She's in charge of uh, customer relations and PR at our, at our company. So she'll come to talk to us about the business aspect of our, of our solution and uh, the future of our platform after this short commercial break. Welcome back. My name is Joan Mayimo Mondia. I am 24 years old and I am a software developer by profession as well as a digital marketer. I was born in Nairobi. I went to primary school in Mount Lavena Academy in Kasarani. Then I went to high school in Kangaroo Girls in Embu. And in university, I went to Strathmore University where I did business information technology. At Trent Hero, I take over the marketing and also PR and branding of our, of our company. One good thing about Trent Hero is that we are a team of young, ambitious, amazing um, young minds that are ready to take over this country and do amazing things um, in technology. Uh, my role at Trent Hero is that I'm a digital marketer. Uh, I also do PR and branding of the team. We are a startup, so also um, all minds come together and we share ideas so that we're able to move to the next level as Rent Hero. Rent Hero um, officially and seriously started in 2020, where we were five members who were brought together by our founder, Ronald. We are from different fields and we think differently, so we all came together with our different skills so that we're able to bring life to Rent Hero. So funny story is I was just employed in Postal Corporation of Kenya as a software developer and in my interactions with other developers I met an amazing developer who's in our team um, by the name Vincent. So in our conversations um, Vincent uh, picked up the idea that I am a digital marketer and he pitched the idea to Ronald where the conversation just started and the idea, the idea came to me and we had a meeting and after that meeting we had another meeting and we are here. From the meeting we were able to pick up different skills from different members from the whole team 
So um, we got the prototype that was already there and we were able to strengthen it up with different technologies that we have and also guys who are good in marketing came up and bring and pitch their, their ideas to the whole team. Um, guys in, who are good with customer service and customer user experience. In short, all these skills were brought together and we were able to make Rent Hero better and also even now we keep on making it better and seek for advice even from people who are experienced. It's amazing that we are a team of people with different skills. So us as a team coming together and being able to share ideas is amazing. Uh, we are all young and we've, we've mostly not done business, um, but in this journey, we're able to learn so much in financial tech, in marketing, in handling a business. It's amazing. So we are really learning a lot from each other. And also as we try and get information from people who are experienced, it's, it's an amazing journey. One of our major um, challenges were financial constraints. So what happens is the profits we're able to get from our current, for our, from our current customers, we bring that money back into the into the company so that we're able to improve our improve our systems and operations as well as it gets to a point where us ourselves because we're all working others are freelancing others are employed we get a small percentage from the income we get to the to the business so that at least we are somewhere but in the near future we are definitely looking forward to working with investors once uh, once we're good and home and dry Normally, um, tenants really have an issue with collecting rent all the time. Um, your tenants take rent to the landlords and the, the record keeping system sometimes is a bit too much because um, today you might be paying for your water, tomorrow you may, might be paying for your rent. So by the time the landlord is actually sitting down with all the papers and putting everything together, it might be a bit difficult as well as communication between tenants and um, the landlords is here and there. The system is able to notify you as a tenant to pay rent, maybe rent is due. It automatically does that as well as for the landlord. The landlord is able to see that on this day this person was able to pay this service and that service and that service. So there's not too much paperwork, not too much confusion, not too much cat and mouse stories here and there. Our current clients right now are happy with the system that we have as well as if they find a challenge here and there, they get back to us and we're able to fix it and make the system better. Um, so far so good, they feel like rent collection is much easier and better. Um, one of our best clients right now is Amalia Apartments in Siokimau and we are so proud of them. I think that um, the government should be able to create a space for all, all of us techies to come together and share ideas because, man, the ideas that are out here are mind-blowing and we just need a space where we come together, share ideas. Um, if we're able to have incubation, incubation spaces where we're able to share ideas as well as workspaces, like, for example, we work, um, where we're able to share ideas and grow together would be amazing. Um, we dream to be the eat place for rent, for rental management and financial tech. We, we dream to be Africa's place where everyone is able to, if I'm moving to Seychelles, I'm just able to go to Rent Hero and get a home as easy. If, I'm, if I want to go to South Africa, it won't be a hassle for me to know where I'm going to reside or move around. Working with young people, to be honest, I, 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 I love it for the simple reason that we are from different fields and getting to know what, how somebody else thinks and getting the ideas is amazing as well as we're making these mistakes together and we're learning together. So we learn from each other, which is amazing. And also it's, it's a space where we've come to learn that it's, two minds are better than one. So that's a really good lesson that we have come to learn. Um, for the mistakes, I think millennials have. Unfortunately, we are a microwave generation. And with that, we think that if you have an idea today, ah, tomorrow you'll be having millions in your bank accounts. Unfortunately, that's not the truth. Um, it needs good things take time. 
So um, I think that millennials need to take their time so that they're able to prosper in whatever journey they're, that they're having. It's possible to have meetings wherever and whenever, whatever time. So with us, we try as much as possible, at least in a week, two to three meetings. If possible, in a month, we will have two physical meetings. And in those physical meetings, we try as much as possible to go through what we've been able to achieve so that we're able to keep tabs on everyone and every department that's in the company. In the weekly meetings, we make sure that we talk about what, we're, what, what we are looking forward to do in that week, um, what steps that we've taken, and if we have different ideas or we've learned different things in the field, we are able to share ideas so that we are able to make our operations much better. With social media marketing and digital marketing, we try as much as possible in all our platforms to create amazing content that our followers and people who see our content are able to relate with. So we're able to do that as well as we run, um, we run ads. Um, that's much better than the olden day kind of advertisements, um, big, big billboards that unfortunately we're unable to afford right now. But with that, we're able to um, use as much as possible, social media as much as possible to get our name out here. For all our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, we are at Trent Hero Kenya, um, as well as for more information about Trent Hero, go to www.trenthero.co.ke. For all our new customers, um, we have a three month free support as well as we will take you through the whole onboarding process. For example, if you have 100 units, we as a team will be able to put each and every unit for you.